Hello! In this video I will demonstrate how to program multitask machines with Sprutcam. Ok, uh, you can see the example of index machine on the screen. It has, it has uh, two chains, two channels of control. Uh, channel of the mill spindle and the channel of the turret head. Ok, I would like to machine the part like this one uh, with using of uh, take over. Uh, well, um, so I already uh, fixed my part in the left spindle and uh, uh, Let's create, uh, for example, lay facing, facing in right spindle. I prepared, or oh not? Sorry, uh, facing left spindle. Yes, this one. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, so uh, the first stage I would like to machine the face to perform facing in the right spindle. After that I would like to perform facing in the left spindle. So if we go to simulation we can see it machining in the right spindle and machining in the left spindle. Ok. After that I would like to perform the drilling. Uh, let's show one thing. When we perform machining in the right spindle we define workpiece holder like right workpiece holder. And to machine in the left spindle we define workpiece holder left workpiece holder. Ok. So the next I would like to perform lathe drilling uh, in the right spindle. I, this operation was prepared uh, and so in this operation I again fill right workpiece holder as workers. Ok, let's calculate. Mm. Very well. Let's go to the simulation. So, uh, you can see that both this operation is uh, located in the different channels. Uh, so, if machine have, has two different channels, this button is available. And we have to enable multi-channel mode. Ok. So, the operations for the turret head is here and operation for the uh, mill milling spindle is here. Let's try to simulate it. And uh, let's say load the workpiece into the right spindle also. And let's play simulation. And we can see if enable the collision detection. We can see the collision here and a lot of collisions. So we need to insert the drilling uh, the synchronization points. Uh, so we cannot start drilling before the facing will be finished. So to do it I just select first facing and enable the end of the facing and for the drilling I would like to locate the drilling hmm. here so and add the synchronization point so in this position the mill spindle will wait until the turret go away. So let's play again. 
uh, load right focus holder. Mm. So facing is started. Okay. Milling head is preparing. So now milling head is waiting for this wait command. Then we it is go away, it continue and drilling is performed here. Okay. Let me disable the, this one. Uh, so the next, the next stage, I would like to drill in the left spindle also. Mm, lathe drilling, left spindle. Calculate the tool pass and. Uh, also, I would like to perform the turn roughing, create new lathe contouring, uh, copy all parameters by the left facing operation, go to job, create roughing, ok, select this one, delete this and this hold control okay very good so and click right mouse button and define the step 2 millimeters uh, calculate and uh, go back to the simulation. So I can start to drill in the left spindle only after that, then the turning will be finished. So I need to find the go to the end of the turning and go to the start of the drilling in this position I think and insert the synchronization points let's look on the result so when I reset the workpiece the only one workpiece in the left spindle is resetted. Uh, after that I can load the right workpiece holder and you can see that the state of the workpiece in the right spindle is the same that we will see after the machining in the left spindle. Let's start to simulation. Yes, waiting machine in here after that wait again until very good so the next stage the next stage I would like to perform the writing here make okay. and uh, I would like to I would like to perform this one. Okay. Well, go back, create a new lathe contouring, uh, fill parameters by the facing in the right spindle, go back to the job assignment, define writing cycle, okay, remove this one, 
start click on the arrow to change the start point select this one and remove it correct return and there is few problems here let me uh, remove and rounding click okay point zero very good and right mouse button click on the arrow and set the step okay so the turning in the right spin tool is ready at the same time I would like to to kneel in the left spindle. So I create finishing uh, 2D contouring, milling operation. Uh, copy parameters uh, by operation uh, drilling in the left spindle. And after that uh, go to define the tool ok and uh, select the holder very good and uh, make machine invisible define the job assignment I would like to select the edges I would like to machine click a scuff mm, define the bottom level set the one count and uh, go back define the approach Okay, let's calculate the tool pass, enable machine visibility, oh. and again, again, I can start to perform, uh, I can start to perform the milling in the left spindle, only after that then the Okay, that's all. It's enough. Let's look in simulation. Reset. Load. The Yes. And play. waiting oh I need to enable the polar interpolation for the uh, this to decontouring enable yes this one and uh, it will be better so, and final, I would like to create the decoder operation. I will uh, create it from the clear list. Mm. Well, create new auxiliary operation. And uh, for this operation, mm, first step, I would like to move Mm -hmm. Yes, this one. I would like 
to move turret head in this position minus 500 approximately after that uh, outload the outload the unload the right spindle and take it in the position 850 okay so double click uh, after the comment add this go to and add the turret head in this position minus 500 so after that uh, perform select workpiece right workpiece holder after that uh, um, open the chucks open the chucks right chuck state in position 60 okay after that uh, enable the stop command after the stop I would like to unload unload the right current workpiece holder so the current workpiece holder is right spindle so this command will unload the right spindle after that after that I go to mm, soup spindle position in minus this one and after that uh, again close the chunk in position okay after that uh, select the current workers left workers holder yes and after that perform takeover from the current workpiece holder so left workpiece holder to the right workpiece holder and after that uh, okay after that go to uh, sub spindle position to the intel value okay so let's look on it. Uh, go to simulation, disable multi channel mode for a while, and let's play with it. Okay, move the turret. There you go. Oh, too far. Waiting. Play again. Move. Uh, yes. So, mm, go to the multi channel mode and try to perform simulation from the start till the end. Okay. Right now, the right spindle is machine is machining on air. Only the left spindle is working. Waiting. So, we stop it on the stop command make a simulation 
not so fast. Deform takeover. Oops. Target head is not correct. Okay. Deform takeover. And after that, load the new uh, workpiece in the left spindle. Go to the beginning of the simulation. So we have right now uh, workpiece in the right and in the left spindle. And start simulation again. So machining in the left spindle. What's wrong? Oh, too slow. Okay, so if I disable the machine, we can see our result in the right spindle. Thank you for your attention. Bye.